today we're going deep inside the digital realm to decode the mysterious world of video game programming. Hi, I'm Viviana. I'm James. James, nice to meet nice you. To like such a fun place to work. Oh yeah, it's a big playground over here. What do you get to do here? I'm a software engineer on the NHL franchise. Nice, show me around. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what we have to do is tell, you know, your Xbox and your PS3 and your mobile device how to display the millions and millions of lines of code so that it can display a game on the screen. In high school, I took a programming course, an elective, and there we created a little blackjack game. And that is what made me realize, you know, I want to do programming as a living. Just being able to create software and being able to use it afterwards. Uh, I went to UBC. I took uh, computer science and along with the program, I did co-op education. This is where I was able to alternate between school and work. Uh, I got to work for several different high-tech companies. One of them was Electronic Arts. And after working there, I loved it and I came back full-time once I graduated. This is my workstation over here. So I'll just code away, coding in C++, especially if we look at the features that we plan for this year. I'll spend most of my day coding it. It has to match what happens in a real life hockey game. So every detail counts. Uh, if something happens that shouldn't be happening, we definitely want to fix that. It's a long cycle. I figure out what problems there are, fix the problems, and the user picks up the control, plays the game, and feels like they're an actual hockey player. How many people work on the NHL? Video game. For NHL, it could range between uh, 50 to 100 people. Are you working your typical 9 to 5 or does it... Um, it's usually just like flex time. Uh, I do have a certain set of features I have to get done, so it's up to my own, you know, time. How fast do you work? That's correct. Right. The toughest part of my job is pretty much coming up with ideas for the next year and how to beat next year. So our biggest competitor is ourselves. Uh, if you release a really good game, how are we going to beat that for the next year? What sort of skills or technical skills would you really need to have to do this job? Uh, first, you need the uh, program experience. Uh, we try a lot of things here at EA. We're good at coming up with creative solutions. Right. And we can apply that to the future. What you're looking at it here is just a player celebration. The one hand fist pump. The one hand fist pump. Okay. So you want to just play it, make sure everything's correct. And once we're happy with it, we can put it in, into the game. We like to look, see that you have a strong passion for video game programming. Mm -hmm. Uh, have good problem solving skills, good teamwork right. skills, communication skills. So you can't just be some dude who likes to play video games no. in his basement? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's and okay. you gotta have like a good uh, programming background. I worked on body checking and there a lot of physics and math is involved. So I had to pull up my physics book and see how a big guy hits a small guy and what happens to them. Oh wow. So all the stuff I learned in school, all the math and physics, I'm glad I studied. I was able to use that and apply it to, to the game. Over here we have Crosby. Body checking. Just body checking here. Yeah. So there's a physics, takes into account what their poses are and how mm -hmm. fast they're going. So what happens to the other player? I got a lot of experience working with the team, uh, having good communication skills. Pretty much every job out there requires those that skill set. If I were to move on from gaming, things like managers, anything that involves you know leading a team or working with a team, I can see myself doing that. Just try new things, you never know, like, you'll enjoy it. You'll work hard in school, talk to professionals out there, ask them, you know, what it's like in their field of work. This is something I'd be doing, you know, for free, don't tell anybody. You'll know when you're in the right job when it doesn't feel like a job. It feels like more like a hobby, something where you're, you're excited to go to every day and to do every day, and then you've hit the spot. To summarize, some of the skills you'll need include finger dexterity, motor coordination, numerical ability. You'll also need to be detail-oriented, directive, innovative. You'll usually need three to four years of post-secondary education. The average salary can be over $66,000 per year. The future outlook for this job is promising as employment is increasing in the coming years and the unemployment rate is low and is expected to further decrease. James, thank you so much for teaching me all about being a software engineer. Anytime. Hope you had fun. I sure did. I'm Viviana, and this is Career Track, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.